the 2022 Walmart UCI Cyclocross World Championships in Fayetteville, USA will be the 73rd edition of this prestigious event. So let's take you on a trip down into the archives to revisit 10 memorable moments for the last 10 World Championships. Belgium has always produced strong competitors in this discipline, but in 2012 they incredibly delivered almost total domination. A pack of Belgians led the race from the very start with Niels Albert leading the charge in the men's elite category. One by one their competitors fell back and after over an hour of racing, Albert crossed the finish line first. Not only that, but he was followed by six of his compatriots. Places one to seven went to Belgium. It was a majestic team performance. In 2013, the UCI Cyclocross World Championships were being held outside of Europe for the first time ever. And 37-year-old Belgian cyclocross legend Sven Nees was at the start line in Louisville, Kentucky. Once again, Team Belgium took the initiative in the men's elite race. The race endgame featured a head-to-head -head battle between Nees and his compatriot Klaus van Tenoot. The pair of miscues on the final lap saw the 36-year-old take a memorable second rainbow jersey. In 2014, and once again, a rider in a blue jersey would write themselves into the history books. But this time round, they would not hail from Belgium, rather from the Czech Republic. Szenek Stibar was battling at the front of the race, trading blows with race favourite Sven Nace. But when the final lap concluded, it was Stibar who emerged victorious, crossing the finish line first and taking the gold medal home. France's Pauline Perrin Prevot, the reigning UCI Road World Champion, had entered the Women's Elite Cyclocross World Championships in 2015. Her pedigree was immediately evident, and she quickly became tangled in a tight battle for gold with Sanna Camp from Belgium. The young Frenchwoman would win the sprint finish and later go on to claim the 2015 mountain bike cross country world title, becoming the first rider to hold all three titles at the same time. Wout van Aert and Mathieu van der Poel had been competitors from an early age. Already having gone head-to-head -head at junior and at under-23 level, in 2016 they went at it in the elite category. Midway through the race and on a muddy uphill section, van der Poel slipped and his foot became tangled up in his rival's bike. With immense effort, van Aert dug in to fight his way back to the top and ended up crossing the line first on home turf nonetheless. This meant he was rewarded with his first ever rainbow jersey in the elite category. The 2017 edition of the UCI Cyclocross World Championships saw seven-time world champion Mariana Voss once again start to dominate the field in the women's elite race. But a 26-year-old Sana Kant had other ideas for this one. Despite a chain problem for Voss, the duo reached the short finishing straight together. And it was Sana Kant who ended up beating world champion in a direct duel, which added even more glamour to this victory. In 2018, mud was on the menu for the under-23 women at the UCI World Championships in Limburg, Netherlands. After a strong start by Celine Del Carmen Alvarado, Evie Richards from Great Britain took the lead in the first lap after a slow start. She survived a scare early in the last lap, Maria Derelia getting stuck in the largest cog, but she was able to calmly but furiously spin her way to the pit. An historic win as Richards became the first under 23 woman to claim two rainbow jerseys in this category. 2019 was a year when the race was not decided on the race course, but rather in the pit lane. Lucinda Brand from the Netherlands and Belgian Sanna Kant were in a tight battle for gold. Incredibly, a momentous mistake by Brand during the bike change saw Kant pass her and take her third consecutive world title. Brand could not hide her disappointment on the podium. 
It was a day for the Dutch in Dubendorf in 2020. Anna Marie Verst, Lucinda Brand, Mariana Voss and Celine Del Carmen Alvarado soon took the reins of the women's elite race. 21-year-old Alvarado had originally planned to race in the women's under-23 category, but after securing the Dutch national cyclocross title, she decided to test her skills against the elite field. Worst entered the final corner in the lead with Alvarado glued to her wheel. And Alvarado showed that she still had a powerful kick in her legs and sprinted to the UCI world title. Q one emotional winner and one devastated runner-up. The rivalry in cycling between Belgium and the Netherlands has always been intense. Both small nations in terms of population but ones that reliably churn out a ridiculous number of world-class cyclocross competitors. In 2021, it was a case of Dutch domination on Belgian soil. The junior races didn't take place due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but across the under-23 and elite categories, four out of four possible rainbow jerseys went to the riders in orange. It was raining gold medals for the Dutch on this day.